Well, hello there, folks. Have you ever felt the pulse of the earth beneath your feet, that ancient rhythm that courses through the soil straight into the soles of your shoes? It's a kind of magic, isn't it? The kind that whispers tales of old and sings the songs of the soul. Today, we're embracing a journey through the rich tapestry of African magic, a world where the heartbeat of hoodoo syncopates with the rhythm of life. Now let's paint a picture together, a landscape rich in color, sound, and spirit. Imagine walking down a dusty road as the sun sets, a warm breeze carrying the scent of herbs and the murmur of incantations. This, my friends, is where our exploration begins, in the cradle of humanity, where every grain of sand holds a story, every whispering tree shares a secret. What is it about African magic, about hoodoo, that resonates so deeply within the human spirit? Is it the allure of the unknown, or is it perhaps a recognition, a remembrance of something ancient and familiar? This question, it's like a lantern in the dark, guiding us through the intricate dance of existence and belief. Delving deeper, we find that hoodoo is not just a practice, but a tapestry woven with the threads of history, culture, and personal empowerment. Each stitch is a story, a lesson in survival and resilience. It's more than just spells and charms. It's a way of understanding the world, a means of turning the tides in one's favor, using the very elements of nature. Now, consider for a moment the universal relatability of seeking control in a world that is often uncontrollable. That's a common thread we share, no matter the longitude and latitude of our birth. Throughout the ages, philosophers and sages have grappled with the nature of reality and magic. Socrates once mused on the power of the unseen, and in our own time, thinkers continue to debate the intersection of faith, magic, and science. In the realm of hoodoo, such wisdom is often passed down through oral tradition, each generation contributing its voice to the chorus of understanding. Let's take a moment to step back into the annals of history. Consider the transatlantic slave trade, a period of unspeakable suffering that nonetheless saw the resilience of African spiritual practices. Enslaved Africans, stripped of everything, clung to hoodoo as a lifeline, a means of preserving their identity and enacting agency in a world that denied them both. Fast forward to today, and we can see echoes of those same practices in the ongoing struggle for cultural recognition and civil rights. Now, hoodoo is not without its ethical quandaries. The very essence of magic involves tapping into powers that many believe should be approached with reverence and caution. One historical figure who encapsulated these moral considerations was Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Her legendary status is a testament to the fine line walked between power and responsibility, between healing and harming. The cultural reflections of hoodoo in literature and music, especially the blues, are profound. Songs like Robert Johnson's Crossroad Blues resonate with the soulful depth of hoodoo's influence. And in literature, the works of Zora Neale Hurston offer a vivid window into the rich spiritual life of the African-American South, melding anthropology with lyrical narrative. In contemporary discussions, you'll find debates raging on the authenticity of hoodoo practices on cultural appropriation versus appreciation. These debates invite us to consider with respect and sensitivity the lines between sharing and stealing cultural heritage. The importance of hoodoo today lies not only in its historical value, but also in its continued relevance as a source of identity and empowerment for many. In a time of cultural homogenization, hoodoo stands as a beacon of diversity and a testament to the endurance of tradition. Drawing these threads together, we arrive at a profound understanding. Hoodoo is more than just a set of practices, it's a heartbeat a rhythm that has pulsed through centuries, beating the drum of human experience. It's a reminder that magic, in its many forms, is a universal language, and its lessons are as relevant now as they ever were. I want to thank you all for joining me on this journey, for opening your hearts and minds to the rich pulse of hoodoo. It's a path that we walk together, 
learning from each other, growing in wisdom and compassion. And as we part ways, I invite you to ponder a few questions. How does tradition shape your own life? In what ways do we all practice our own form of magic every day? What can we learn from the stories and struggles that Hudu embodies? Take these thoughts with you, let them simmer in your mind, and who knows? Perhaps they'll bloom into something extraordinary. Until next time, keep that spirit of inquiry alive, and remember, the most powerful magic of all lies within you. Goodbye now.